what is the Harris Walls message on the economy? Uh, John, could you roll that clip? We believe in a future where we lower the cost of living for America's families so that they have a chance not just to get by, but to get ahead. Because while our economy is doing well by many measures, prices for everyday things like groceries are still too high. You know it and I know it. You know, when I was attorney general, I went after price fixing schemes. And when I am president, it will be a day one priority to fight to bring down prices. I will take on big corporations that engage in illegal price gouging. I will take on corporate landlords that unfairly raise rents on working families. I will take on big pharma and cap the cost of prescription drugs for all Americans. continue to bring manufacturing jobs back to America. Okay, so let me first acknowledge yeah. as a libertarian that so all sounds like a complete <laughs> nightmare. We're talking about price um, controls. Like We're talking about maybe I'm a control. University of Chicago educated economics major, so I'm I you know, I'm inclined to What's agree your with reaction as a, as a as a Chicago boy to that. <laughs> no, I part of the reaction is just that like to have a democrat who is not Joe Biden incapable of making just a good political, which is a political argument, right? Like these levers don't actually do very much to solve inflation. It might make the economy worse in some ways, but like, but A, she is able to have a little bit more distance from the past four years um, to say, yeah, inflation's a problem. And it's not quite implied that it's her problem. I mean, right. if the Trump campaign were smarter and they will wise up, I'm sure they will tie her to these issues these past four years and not let her distance herself as much. Right. But like, but she has some, dexterity as a politician if you go back to that debate where like you know trump was saying lots of untrue things i'm not like a pearl clutching like fact checker but like biden wasn't capable of like pointing out obvious bs and and she's capable yeah. of i don't know she's a a a normal political athlete when democrats didn't have one before and and that might be enough to win against trump yeah, we're um, whatever the case, whoever wins this, we do seem destined for a protectionist hell escape coming forward because they're yep. both talking about like we need to protect American manufacturing. So, I, you know, in Trump's world, that seems to mean a 10 percent tariff across the board, 60 percent on China, which is crazy. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, I don't know uh, exactly what the agenda is here for the Democrats, but both seem eager to uh, do a lot of uh, protectionist measures that if you're talking about tr trying to fight inflation, which we all agree was uh, pretty painful over these past years, um, this is not a promising strategy. No, you know, protectionism is on the rise. Uh, you know, anti-immigration sentiment is on the rise. So I'm not sure if it's a great election for libertarian minded people either way, necessarily. Hey. Thanks for watching that clip from our show, Just Asking Questions. You can watch another clip here or the full episode here. And please subscribe to Reason's YouTube channel and the Just Asking Questions podcast feed for notifications when we post new episodes every Thursday.